Hello, anyone who may be watching, uh, fellow Blender users, or however, whoever's out on the internet. I found a kind of cool trick, and it's pretty neat, and I'm going to demonstrate it. So I'll go in object mode with the cube, and this trick is basically you can miter pretty much any profile shape at any angle, and you don't have to do any math at all, so it's kind of a cool trick. So, first thing is, is that the profile, the shape you're mitering, is going to have to be like right at an edge or vertex. So in the case of the cube, it's going to be right here at this edge. I'm just going to change the pivot point to the active element. And I'm going to duplicate that surface and rotate it on the y-axis along that edge and I can just pick any angle so like that and since I have a face here I'll extrude so now we have a kind of angle for your miter and I'll also do the same with the star and uh, the circle so you can see how this works so I'll go in object mode same thing with the star so I'll go into edit mode <laughs> this is pretty cool. Pick that face. In this case, I'm going to use an active vertex for pivot point, and I'm going to shift, duplicate, rotate, Y, and pretty much angle like that. And then I'll extrude this face out. So now we see we have different angles, different shape profiles. And I'll do the same with the cylinder. So I'll just pick the end face, that vertex there, duplicate, and hit rotate while I'm in duplication, and this is the Y. Do keep in mind that you kind of want in a certain level of alignment, like I'm doing with the Y axis here, but past that stage, you can pretty much set any arbitrary angle. I think as long as it's an acute angle, or where is it up to? I'm not sure. Anyhow, like that. Okay. And then I'll just go back to the face and extrude out. So you see, we want a miter join these three things, so I'll go back to the cube. Let's change this medium point. So now I want to miter this. So all you do is select the faces you want. I'm going to the specials menu with the, the W key and then I am going to do the bridge command. So bridge edge loops in this case, but it's just bridge. And at first you don't see anything, but if you look in the side menu here, right here it says bridge edge loops, connect loops. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is change the number of cuts to one right now it doesn't seem to show anything and the smoothness will set to 1.5 that's part of it but not yet you want to change from blend path to blend surface now if you look at it it is a lined up miter just like that so now we have that and we can select it and I'm going to remove the doubles and move these edges. And now I have a miter of the cube at that angle and joined. And get a local view. <laughs> and now I'll do it with the cylinder object. Change the number of cuts to one. The other settings are the same, I believe, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah. Those. I can get rid of these edges. Oops. And I have miter of that. <laughs> and notice I don't have to be at a 45 angle or any specific angle, and I'm not doing any calculations. So this is even better than using the shear tool and you're not stuck having to be in 
ortho view to do it, like a shear or using a knife tool. I know there's a way to do it with a knife tool as well, but you still have to figure out angles, and in this case, you don't. You just bridge. So, and I'll even do it with the star shape profile. Look at this. Mode. cuts one and but the main thing is to use the blend surface interpolation and set the smoothest to 1.5 all the other settings you don't really have to mess with and now I do that and I can get rid of yep. and now I got a miter of the sour Star, I'll have to do a little bit of extra cleanup on, but you get the idea. Here you go. Yep, that's it. So now you can uh, pretty much miter any profile at almost any angle. Still want to see it has to be wider than 90, but maybe, maybe not. I just know it. The uh, all you do is you bridge and you set the number of cuts on a bridge. You change the smoothing type and uh, set the smoothing value to 1.5 and you got a miter just like that. Isn't that cool? Alright, there.